Hey guys, SAS is out. So uh, today on this video, we're gonna go through and teach you how to set those up and get your plans all set up, connected to your Stripe. But remember, you need a pro account. So there's a link below this video. Click on that, get your pro account. And uh, if you already have an account, just upgrade or click on that and you can upgrade from there. So uh, let's get going. Okay, first things first, we'll run through some of the features here on the SAS configuration. So make sure you're in your agency dashboard, not a sub account. So if you want to offer a, a free trial, you can do that just by in, uh, toggling this in to enable. And then you can select up from anywhere from 1 to 30 days. Uh, typically, I do not do a trial. I don't like trials. People like free things and uh, BirdEye and a lot of those companies do not offer a trial. So uh, the other thing is we have, you can uh, label this, just put in whatever you want for packages. If you want to call them bronze, silver, and gold or platinum, you can do whatever you want. Standard professional premium is just the defaults. And then pricing, one thing I did notice, and I'm gonna show you a few things here that uh, there's, because uh, there's some different things here after we get connected to our Stripe. But uh, you can change the pricing. The least you can go on the standard is 97. The least here is 197. As you can see, if I try to change it to 157, it's not gonna allow me to do that. So it's gonna say that there's a minimum. And uh, one thing I did notice here, if I do wanna change this to 297, I can do that, but I do not think you can change it. Yeah, it's gotta be at least 297. And then make sure your yearly uh, is set right also. Uh, then in the features, the features are set right now until later this month it sounds like they're gonna allow you to customize those. We've got uh, credits for Twilio or Mailgun. So you can set these to whatever you want and it'll change the number to whatever it is, how many texts, how many minutes. And uh, so we'll just set this back to $10. The cool thing is you can even add a snapshot. So if you got your own snapshot, premium snapshot, snapshot you wanna put in there, you can attach it as a part of the package. Uh, down here, we have a reseller, Twilio reseller, and uh, this just gives you an option to uh, increase that by 50% or 100%, whatever you want. If you do not want to uh, do a Twilio resell, just select that off. After you get done, make sure you select Save Changes, and uh, then you're good to go on that piece. But one thing you got to remember is go to your settings and go to Stripe integration and connect your Stripe. But make sure you log into your Stripe account before you do this in another tab because it's a lot easier uh, when that button says connect, it'll connect automatically without having to log in again or mess it up. So uh, do that. And then the next step is to uh, make sure your products in your SaaS configuration are connected. So if we show this Stripe product details, uh, we can see basically our ID in here and, uh, and we can copy those. Uh, but to edit those, you really need to go into uh, your Stripe because as I mess with these, and change these around, let's just say. If I go into my products here, instead of it saying two prices before, it's gonna say three or four prices. And I noticed this as a, uh, a little configuration uh, error because I had six prices at one time. So the one thing that you wanna do is go in here and edit your prices. So you just basically go in, edit the product, and like this one says three prices. So it duplicated uh, some of the pricing. So we can just get rid of this. We've got our yearly, and we've got 
our other price. So we just want to get rid of one of these because it's a duplicate. So we've got $497 and $49.70 a year. Um, so just make sure you edit it and save the product on the back end here. Uh, the one thing, if you do use the view test data, uh, once you're connected to Stripe and you're in your regular Stripe account uh, and you click on your products, these automatically go in from your high level account. And uh, if you go into view test data, they're not going to be unless you're connected and you have these products in there, Does if that makes sense. I hope it does because um, it was one thing that I did. So if I click view test data and look at the products I've got in the view test data, it, it those disappeared. The high level uh, levels disappeared, but as soon as I shut it off, they're here. So you would have to go in and add these products uh, as an, you know, for testing is what you would have to do. So our next step is to go into a, an account and set those accounts up once you figure out what you want for your pricing, your annual price and your monthly price. So we'll go into agency 123 at 123 Easy Street and we're gonna go on over to settings and we need to connect in under integrations, we need to connect our Stripe account. We are connected here, uh, but let me just show you where you go to do that. So basically you just go over to your Stripe account. You wanna go into developers. You wanna go into API keys. And uh, if you're gonna do a test key, you'll just use that uh, because it says view testing right now. Uh, if you don't want to do that, just select this off. But I would recommend that you uh, do the view testing uh, because you want to test the account to make sure it works before you start pushing anything through. Otherwise, you could get a bit frustrated. So uh, toggle this on. Grab these uh, test keys. Drop these in over here and hit connect and it'll say connected. That means you are connected. So now we need to set up a funnel with these three pricing uh, structures for our clients to go through. So we're gonna go to funnels, we're gonna select a new funnel and we're just gonna create this one, we'll call it SaaS Beast. So we're gonna create it we're gonna add a new step. So basically we're doing a, a two-step order form. And so uh, the uh, step here is gonna be our pricing or whatever you wanna call it. Create that funnel step and we're gonna edit that page. We're just gonna go in and uh, we're gonna make a, a full width column here. And then we're gonna add in some, uh, add in a row and do three columns for our three pricing. And then basically we just want to add an element in here and we're just going to call it a headline, a headline and a headline. And then we're going to select our uh, level standard premium professional. So we'll go in here and just call the standard and we'll say the premium. And then we're going to select professional and then select save. And then probably our next step, we'd probably want to add the features below it. So we'd probably want to add a bolt list in here. And I'm just going to copy this over. And of course, you're going to put in all your features and just put that in there. And then we're going to add a couple buttons in there for to uh, purchase the product. So we'll select button one, button two, and umno numero three for the professional. So we need to set up a pop-up for our two-step order form. So we're gonna add a row, a column, and then uh, column, add our element. Two-step order form is at the very bottom here. We don't have shipping, so we can get rid of that to hit advanced. It's called the step one. Where should we ship it? We don't have shipping. 
and then just toggle down to hide shipping here because we don't have shipping let's go up to step two and we'll just call this step two and of course get rid of this and then we just want to i'm just gonna take the shipping out put edit details and we're gonna go ahead and save this so we're in our overview, we need to add a product. So we're just gonna, before we select this, in the beginning we talked about that view test data and the other products. Well, in the products right now, if we just select those, we can see the three packages. But if I select view test data, they're gone. So let's shut that off. Let's go into the standard and I'm gonna show you how to to bring this over. So I'm just gonna copy this 97 a month. I'm gonna go back into view test data, view all products, and I'm gonna add a product. So we're just gonna call this standard. And there it is. It's a whopping 97. And then this is where we want that product ID. So I'm going to save that product and then I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to add that product here. So we'll call this standard and we'll want to override that. So we'll just do uh, 97, 97 per month and we'll just uh, now here's the strike plan. So it's connected and it knows, there it is right there. So it matches, and we'll just call this 97, and then save. So now we've got that product in there. So you just wanna go in there and add your three products in there. If you're only gonna do two pricing, do two pricing. You don't have to do three pricing features. You can do one, or, one to three, uh, so that's up to you. So let's do a quick test. We'll uh, pop it up here. And uh, we'll just click. It'll pop up this screen. We can uh, enter our email. Go to step two. And of course we just have a test card number. And uh, a test card number is going to be, this is the pretty common number and then any expiration that's after this date and then any three digits will work for a uh, secret code and we complete the order and uh, test mode key was used to make this request so it uh, shows us uh, that it was a test mode so obviously it's uh, working the way we want so uh, Remember, leave your comments below, questions. I've got plenty of videos on different things. If you have other requests, let me know. I'll do a video on that also. Thanks. Have a good one. Remember to subscribe. Hit that notification. Thanks.